Hello, my name is Christian Meinholz, and today we're going to be talking about not only how to use and operate a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, but also describe the parts and features that come with your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Kit. This is your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Kit. Within this, you will find many of the essentials you will need to create your absolute filmmaking masterpieces. To start off, you'll have to unbuckle these two little latches here and flip the lid right open. After you open the lid, you will find a zipper at the top of the lid. And within this, you will find a few things, including the SD card that you will need for the storage for your camera. Right here, you will find one of the two parts for the charging cable. This is currently the AC adapter um, that will also plug in to the other adapter, which will plug into your battery and as, uh, pretty much you know, charge your external battery, which I will show you shortly. Here is the second part of that. And here is your external battery. This will be what you're primarily using when you're operating your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, as the internal batteries aren't really that great and they don't really last too long. So here you go. It already has the battery adapter cable, that which is included in the kit. It's already plugged in, but you will also find that within your bag. Right here you'll find your AC adapter, which will be used to basically plug directly into the wall into your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, basically negating the fact that you will need a battery, um, but I personally wouldn't recommend it due to the lack of mobility that will, you will have to endure having your camera plugged into a wall. Right here you have your user manual. This is basically gives you a rundown on everything you need. Um, if you ever get stuck or anything like that and you don't have the resources to come back to this video, this is a perfect guide to get you up and running for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. And lo and behold, the holy grail itself, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Obviously, you need to take the lens cap off first, otherwise you're really not going to capture a single thing. But um, besides that, here it is. It's very small in form, as the name entails. At the bottom here, you'll notice this little trap door that can be used uh, by flipping that switch. This will be the housing for not only your internal batteries, but also your SD card itself. If you have trouble sliding it in, just remember that the front face of the SD card points towards where the battery would go. And that's just how I, I operate mine. And then you just close that trap door and then close that switch and you're ready to rock. So on the side here, you'll f see a few ports, um, including a intravolometer slash time-lapse trigger feature, a headphone jack, a microphone jack, an HDMI MIDI port, and the charging port. Now it is time to connect your external battery to the camera itself. Once you're ready, place your external battery right next to your camera and unwound the cable a little bit and plug it into the charging port of your camera. To locate the power button, it's on the bottom right of the front facing panel of your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. You just tap it once and it turns on by itself. I've had noticeable difficulty and due to my stupidity of holding down the power button, which apparently just turns it on and off right away. So just do a little quick tap and you'll be ready to rock. Once you click the menu button, you can uh, use the arrow buttons to navigate different setting categories. And first you want to navigate to the format card category in the menu screen and then press OK. Once you get there, you will have two options between HFS Plus and XFAT. The format best suits your project and OS. And once you figure that out, press yes. And also, this is going to wipe your card clean for sure uh, for you to use. So this will likely take several minutes to complete once you have uh, a decent amount of data on your card. Once your card is wiped clean, you're ready to begin the recording. Look at the button at the top of the camera that with the red circle on it. This is the record button that you use and press stop and start recording. Before we do that though, I want you to go back to the main menu page and navigate to the settings category. With the arrow button, navigate to the red recording icon on the left column. Navigate the recording settings and set reco record format for the setting that best suits your project. Navigate back to the left column and up to the camera icon. 
and you can navigate over uh, down to the ISO, white balance and shutter angle section, and change the settings which best suits your project. And once you're done with that, you can press the menu button to return to the camera's viewfinder. And finally, to adjust the iris, use the left and hand uh, navigation arrows. So you'll have two primary rings on your lens. And, but since I have a prime lens, uh, those lens rings are aperture and focus rings. If you have a zoom lens, you will need to use one of them at the bottom mostly for zooming and the other one for focus. And when you're done with that, you're ready to hit the record button and you're ready to go shoot your masterpieces, you next Da Vinci's of our time. I'm so proud of you. You finally made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed.